Hello and welcome to Skill Techathon. This is SQL interview questions and answer series. Today we are going to look into one of the SQL interview question asked in an interview. So we have been given an input table and the desired output table. And the question is to based on the user activity table. So this is our user activity table, which is our input table. We need to write a query to retrieve the time difference between each user's most recent and their second to last event. And we need to sort it in ascending order by user identifier. So in the input table, we have user identifier, event type and event date. So event type, we have login, logout, then login, purchase, login, logout, then login, purchase. And there are different dates given. Now in the output table, we have been given user identifier and days elapsed. So in days elapsed for user ID one, the login date is 10th May 2023 and logout date is 12th May 2023. So the difference between login and logout is two days. So we got two days. Now for user identifier two, we have login date as 1st June, purchase is 4th June. So the difference is three days. For user identifier three, we have login on 15th July then log out on 16th July, so one day. And for user identifier four, we have login on 20th August, log out on 25th August. So the day difference is five days. This is how our output table should be. So we need to find out the difference between the most recent event and the second to the last event. So let's go to SQL and check how we can do it practically, okay? I have already written the query to create the table insert values. So I have created the table user activity, then inserted the values as well. I will also be putting this in the description of the video so that you can create the table and do it practically along with the video. So let's check our table. So this is our table, user identifier, event type and event date. Now we have user identifier one, two, three, four, then login and logout purchase. Then the event date. This is the same table which is shown in the presentation as well. So now let's write the solution for the query. Now what we are going to do is we are going to use leg which is a windows function to retrieve the previous event date. So right click select. So we want the user identifier. So let's copy this and paste it here. User identifier. Then we want the event date as well. So event date. Now we are going to use the leg function. So leg, so inside leg, event date, then over. Now partition by. We are going to partition the data by using the user identifier. So let's copy this and paste it here. So partition by user identifier and order by event date. So let's paste it here as well. So we are using a leg function on the event date. And we are partitioning it by user identifier and ordering it by event date. And let's name it as previous event date. Previous event underscore date dot or user activity type. So let's copy this and paste it here. Now let's run this and check what we get in the output. So what we are getting is user identifier event date and previous event date. So the leg function, it retrieves the previous event date. So suppose for 10th of May, there is no previous event date. That's why we are getting null. Now for 12th May, the previous event date is 10th May. That's why we are getting 10th May in the output. And as we are partitioning it by user identifier, so once we go to the next user identifier too, we are going to get null for the first value. So first June, there is no previous value for user identifier too. So we are getting null. Then for 4th June, the previous value is 1st June. So we are getting 1st June. Then same for the 3rd, there is no previous value, so null. So for 16th July, the previous value is 15th July. For Same for the 4th user identifier as well. Now, what we are going to do is based on this table, so previous event date and event date, we are going to find the difference. We are going to do a subtraction of previous event date and the event date so that we get the values in the days how many days has been passed or elapsed okay so before that what we are going to do is we are going to put this solution under a city 
So let name the city as event underscore rent as bracket. Now let's put all this inside the bracket. So this is our city event rent where we have used the window function leg to get the previous event date. Now select. Now in the output, we want user identifier. So user identifier comma. What we are going to do is we are going to subtract previous event date from the event date and we'll name it as days underscore elapsed. From this city event ranked. So from event ranked, then order by. So it is mentioned in the question that we need to order it by the user identifier. So order by user identifier. Now let's run this query. Now if we check, so for user identifier, one we are getting days elapsed null, then for one we are getting minus two, then for two null, then for two minus three, three null, then three minus one, four. So this null value is because for the first event, there is no previous value. That's why. So what we can do is we are getting the values in minus because what we did is this subtraction. We did previous event date minus event date. That's why. So what we are going to do is we are going to change it to event date minus previous event date. And after from event rank, what we are going to do is we are going to write a where clause to filter the data. So where our previous event date is not null. Now let's run this query again. So this is the desired output. So if we check for user identifier one, days elapsed is two. For user identifier two, it's three. For user identifier three, it's one. And the four, it's five. Now let me explain once more the overall query, how it's working is first, we are retrieving the previous event date using the leg window function. Here we have created a CT named event rank to process the data. Then we are using the leg event date function to retrieve the previous event dates for each user identifier. Then we are partitioning it by user identifier to ensure that events are grouped by each user. Then we are ordering it by event date to sort the events in chronological order. Then once we created the city, what we are doing is we are computing the time difference event date minus previous event date to calculate the number of days between the last event and the second to last event. Once it is done, what we are doing is we are filtering out the rows where previous event date is null. So the first event for each user has no previous event. So we exclude these rows using where close, where previous event is not null. And then we are sorting the result using user identifier. This is how we are getting our desired output. Let me run this again. So this is how we are getting the output. I hope you got the idea how we solve this query. If you have any queries which you want us to solve, you can post it in the comment section of the video and we'll look into it and try to solve the questions in our next videos. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video.